Are you planning to Usmania Medical College in PG 2025? Sir, what motivated to choose uh, Usmania? Uh, posted after six months or one year, we'll be posted in specialty postings. Okay. So, you'll get into those specialty postings like cornea, retina, glaucoma, okay. squint, acloplasty, okay. refraction. And how much patients will come? Patient football? The patients football in Sarajani Devi, I asked, but you can't even count at times. Okay. Okay. Sir, when you get a hands on for surgeries and procedures, are you confidently you are going to do the surgeries, surgeries. in the beginning okay. so that you'll get more chances? More hands on will be there compared to the state medical okay. college. Uh, is there a, what, what about the super specialty scope, sir? Okay. Like retina, surgical retina, medical retina, glaucoma, UVA fellowship, cornea fellowship, refractive surgery fellowship, phaco surgery fellowship, okay. squint, uh, uh, squint surgery fellowship. You have to learn and you have to excel in your skills. Yes. Otherwise, you will end up in last. Uh, one of my professors doubted my surgical skills. By the end of my senior residency, I could able to perform surgery on my mom. Oh, it's Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Usmania Docs. Are you planning to take Usmania Medical College in NEET PG 2025? Let me give you a real insight story about the residency life here. Myself, Dr. Anil and today we have our beloved senior, Dr. Mayendar sir, completed his residency from Usmania Medical College and completed his SR ship from Gandhi Medical College and currently practicing in his own clinic, M Vision Eye Hospital, Ibrahim Patnam. It's over to you sir. Hello everyone. Uh, it's my privilege to come here and share my views on uh, residency program at Usmania Medical College. Thanks to Dr. Anil and Dr. Dattu. Thank you, sir. Uh, I uh, completed my MBBS in Gandhi and uh, I, I joined as a postgraduate in Usmania Medical College. And I completed my uh, junior residency in Usmania Medical College. And I, uh, after that, I joined in Gandhi Medical College as a senior resident. There, I worked as a uh, senior resident for the period of two years, and then I started my own hospital at uh, Ibrahim Patnam. Sir, when did you choose ophthalmology as a dream branch, whether in the internship or completion of the NEET PG exam? Actually, uh, ophthalmology was ne uh, never my first priority. Actually, general general surgery was the uh, first uh, uh, prioritized branch for me. But during my counseling time, I wanted to take general surgery in Gandhi Medical College. Okay. But I had a chance to take in Oswani Medical College and also in Kakatiya Medical College. But with the various reasons, I didn't choose uh, those two colleges. So I wanted to join in Gandhi Medical College. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't get that in Gandhi. So my second option and my only option was ophthalmology so As it is also a surgical branch yes and after uh, the counseling i i wanted to join as an ophthalmology in usmania and sir what motivated to choose uh, usmania when you choose ophthalmology department uh, department wise so sarojini devi Eye hospital is the apex institute oh. for the, the two states oh. so obviously when it comes to the ophthal department everyone will, uh, everyone want to will choose, choose sarojini devi hospital so even i i was mm. not exception okay so i also took the same what other things motivated other than this there are certain uh, certain reasons for me to take ophthalmology because and in villages being a rural background so i know people uh, how they think about the eye problems so some people who are having squint they think that it's a uh, god given gift and they don't even know that there is a treatment option for it mm -hmm. and uh, at times uh, when they, they are working in fields there will be some injury with stick or some uh, uh, animals or something uh, to the eyes and eventually that lead leads to the corneal opacity and pa pa Until they lost their they, they will lose their vision so they most of the people even today in rural areas they don't know there is, there are treatment options for such uh, such conditions yes, so being a doctor i just wanted to be a part of this society to give good vision to the people in need of it and create to awareness. my to my uh, capability okay so, it's nice sir sir how many pgs are there in uh, ophthalmology usmania so actually in sarojini deva hospital under usmania there are 35 pgs are there 35 first year 35 second, second year and 35, 35 third. third years and six pg seats are from uh, gandhi medical college okay so everyone will come to sarojini hospital along with this 35 six will add from gandhi gandhi so Around total 41, 41 p first year pages okay and so the second years and so the third, third years. years 
Sir, how many SRs will they add to this? No, SRs will be depending on the requirement of the government, uh, government because now uh, there are uh, so many novel medical colleges, so they are posting most of the senior residents in uh, outskirts. So we are having less senior residency posts in Osmania and Gandhi compared to the peripheral centers. Yes, sir. Sir, could you give a brief discussion, brief about the how department works in a division of works uh, in first year, second year, and third year? There, there is no exact criteria as such uh, regarding the uh, years, but there are six actual cataract units okay. and six subspecialty uh, postings will be there okay. along with that rotation on rotation basis we'll, we are going to have a uh, op postings in usmania general hospital okay. and also there will be on rotation basis at times we'll go to nilofar also for rop screening okay. so um, among these postings pgs will be rotated on roster basis okay. for their entire uh, PG period. Okay. So they will get this roster time in advance. Okay. So accordingly, they will uh, move in their respective units and specialty postings. Okay. When coming to first year, what part they will get, sir? Mostly, you uh, you, you you will have uh, unit postings in the beginning. Okay. So that you will get habituated to the uh, type of cases you will get okay. the uh, type of surgeries basic uh, surgeries that what generally they are going to perform okay so we'll get that observership in the initial times initial period after that will be posted after six months or one year will be posted in specialty postings okay so you'll get into those specialty postings like cornea retina glaucoma okay. squint oculoplasty okay. refraction okay so the these postings will be uh, rotated in the second year and also in the final okay year. sir where did you posted in peripherals in second year for us Sarojini Devi Hospital is the Apex Institute okay. so we need not to go anywhere, anywhere for okay. the uh, peripheral postings but as recently introduced DRP, DRP posting yeah. will be there yeah. that will be posted in some uh, secondary affiliated hospitals so related to Sarojini Devi. Sarojini Devi okay sir sir what about the academics how teachings and uh, seminars classes yeah, the, the, uh, there will be a uh, monthly roster for academics. Okay. So you will get prior prior notif uh, notification that you are going to have a class on uh, on that particular day. Okay. So PGs will get that roster, and also there will be faculty lectures, and so at so, uh, times there will be guest lectures also. So academics will be there on regular basis, okay. and this. PGs and faculty interaction will be a little bit more compared to the uh, higher branches like medicine, general surgery oh. and all. Oh, so there will be more interaction regarding academics. Okay. Sir, coming to how many OPs per, uh, how many uh, OP counts will be there per day? Around how much patients will come? Patient footfall? The patients footfall in Sarojini Devi, I ask, but you can't even count at times. Okay. So, you won't even get time to dispose the op okay. so uh, in and around how much in and around from 600 to 1200 every per day, day per day yes, yes, including every specialty every clinic every op okay like all sp uh, specialty uh, ops and unit ops okay sir what about working hours and uh, so generally op will start at 9 o'clock okay so from 9 to uh, 12 30 1 o'clock uh, will be in opds so according to the unit you will get one opd okay one pre-op one ot day okay so that cycle will uh, uh, repeat in a week so two opds two pre-ops and two OTDs, OTDs in a week in unit postings but uh, when it comes to uh, subspecialties depending on the number of surgeries posted and number of cases and PGs will be rotated between the OP and OT. Okay. Sir, how many night duties usually you get per a month? So, there are uh, combined PGs from Gandhi and Usmania, there will be 41. Okay. So, obviously, you will get one night duty for every 42 41. days. Oh, it's nice. So, the night duties will not be that hectic. Okay. Compared to the other departments. <laughs> Sir, when you get a hands-on for surgeries and procedures, 
so in unit postings mostly you will get uh, hands on in the beginning so depending on your skill depending on the uh, confidence you gain in the beginning so uh, definitely there will be little bit biased things will be there faculty will get uh, biased towards certain uh, pages okay. who are good at doing surgeries so definitely they will get more chances yeah. so it's all depends on how confident you are going how confidently you are going to do the surgeries, surgeries. in the beginning okay. so that you will get more chances so it's all depends on your courage your confidence Sir, is there any unit rotation for you all particularly in posted in same unit throughout three years? No, there will be rotation uh, as I mentioned in uh, as I mentioned earlier. There will be ro rotation in unit postings from there are six units. Okay. Actually, there are six units. One unit belongs to Gandhi and five units belongs to uh, Sarojan. Okay. But when it comes to PG roster, all PGs put together, they will make a roster. Okay. So there won't be any difference from Gandhi and uh, Osmania pages. So you'll get every unit posting by the end of three years and you'll get each specialty posting by the end of three years. So everyone will get equal opportunity to expose each and every department and each and every variety of uh, cases in each uh, specialty and unit postings. Okay, sir. Sir, could you suggest any other institute who are not uh, getting Usmania, they were, if they want to explore other states, could you say some better colleges? We can't say it as a better thing, but there are certain colleges where you will get only one particular type of uh, uh, exposure, like do, uh, mostly of cataracts. I mean, there, there won't be much exposure to the specialty postings like glaucoma, retina, or some, uh, squint, or oculoplasty. Yes, so in Sarojini, you will get opportunity to expose all these yeah, things. Super special. So though uh, compared to other uh, medical colleges, yeah. uh, you will get little bit less hands-on here. Okay. But exposure and number of patients and It'll variety of cases will be humongous. Okay. Could you suggest some names of other uh, state colleges? When when it comes to Hanson, I heard from my peer group, KMC, Kakatiya Medical College, there they will do a little bit um, more, more surgeries, surgeries than compared, compared to, to the... As there are less pages there. Less pages there and also, there, being it is a, uh, like root, rooted in the uh, tier 2 cities. Yes, sir. So, Patients from the rural background will easily go there. there yes. They can't come to this Hyderabad directly to the Sarajan. Yes. But from Kakatiya Medical College and also such type of medical college, we will get referral cases to okay. the Sarajani Hospital. Because there are no subspecialties. Subspecialties and all are not there. So we'll get referral reference to Sarajani. Okay. Can you send, uh, suggest some other central institutes? For a DNB or uh, some other thing. Um, when it comes to DNBs like Arvindai Arvindai Hospitals, Shankarai Foundation Hospitals, and LV Prasad, in uh, Ames RP Center is there, yes, sir. and there is Maulana Azad Medical College is there, Mamsi, and Jipmar is there, okay, and PGH Chandigarh is there, where you will have a separate block for each specialty. Okay, so there are wide variety of surgical exposure and also more hands-on will be there compared to the state medical okay. colleges. Okay. Sir, uh, is there a what, what about the super specialty scope, sir? So, after, completing, after completing PG, PG. You'll, there is no uh, super specialty as such, recognized super specialty, but there are fellowships are there. Okay. Like retina, surgical retina, medical retina, glaucoma, UVA fellowship. Cornea Fellowship, Refractive Surgery Fellowship, FACO Surgery Fellowship, okay. squint, uh, uh, squint Surgery Fellowship. So there are wide variety of fellowship options after completing uh, uh, PG. Okay. But yes, after completing the PG, depending on your confidence only, you are going to gain more confidence in that subspeciality. If you are not confident enough, mm. by the end of your Residency PG. period. Yes. So you won't get extra confidence in fellowship. Okay. As per my knowledge from again from you, Optal is the end branch. If you wanted to explore, then we can join in fellowship. Fellowship. Yes. Otherwise, we can practice private or sir. Yes. What about the post PG? 
salary and how will be life post pg salary it depends on your skills okay. like opd dispos uh, disposing skills and also surgical okay. skills if you have good surgical skills you will get little bit more but if you have good at op opd dispose uh, opd disposable skills you will get little bit less, less than compared, pay compared to, to the surgical uh, skills so uh, in an around you will get 1 lakh to 1.5 after in, uh, but as the corporate setups are coming into the market so you have to learn and you have to excel in your skills yes. otherwise you will end up in last okay so what is the one piece of advice you would like to give to our young need pg aspirants who want to choose this branch as their dream branch you can choose dream uh, you can choose any branch to be frank but if you choose ophthalmology there is a steep learning curve being a microsurgery uh, department yes, sir. and dealing with very sensitive organ of far body yes. so you need to be very cautious you need to be more attentive you need to be extra you need to invest extra time to learn the things so that and nowadays whatever the surgeries or whatever the procedures we are doing on the eye it's no more a treatment option it okay. is a refractive thing so that ultimately patients should get vision vision okay so you you should not complacent you should not compare yes sir you should not conflict with each with others so the conflict should be with you you have to compare yourself from the previous day your, yourself and today's yourself okay. so you need to improve day by day yes sir as so that your skills also will develop no. day by day so, so ultimately you will be succeed in this department and you will become the successful ophthalmologist okay sir what's your memorable incident in your pg sir during my pg uh, one of my professors doubted my surgical skills okay. and he told me that you you are not having enough skills to do eye surgeries i guess but destiny had other plans yeah by the end of my senior residency i could able to perform surgery on my mom oh it's so, so great sir thank you sir for sparing your valuable time and giving genuine information about the department in the usmania please like share and subscribe for more content related videos